All right, let's just uh, let's just jump into our shit so we can get the uh, the show going here. Uh, first thing first, of course, let's talk about <laughs> what's coming out uh, this week, and let's just skip theaters altogether. I thought you know I, I I might mention oh you know there's stuff coming out in theaters. No, no, let's just. <laughs> Yeah, let's just the, the theaters are. We're literally going to get into this a, a little later. Kind of dive into the, the the complete ins and outs of what's going on um, with theaters in general, and give you a really sort of like in depth look uh, as far as uh you know the 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 trouble that the theaters are in. But uh, for now, let's just talk about what's coming out on streaming. Uh, so let's uh, start off with HBO. We've got uh, Entre Hombre. Which is a, uh, I believe, is a series on uh, on HBO. We have Shadows season three. Um, then we have uh, uh, We Are Here, uh, which is a, a series that's premiering. And then we have Bad Education, which you actually talked about a while back. Um, it's about uh, it's it's about what happens. I think when like the principal of a school becomes like corrupted or something like that and does some like crazy shit or something like that. I think this is the story about the um, the. Uh the education scandal, right? Yeah. With like Felicity Hoffman and, uh, Oh no, 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 no. I don't, I don't think it's about that. I think it's, a, isn't this about, Hugh Jackman in, in it? Yeah. This has got Hugh Jackman, but it's about like a different scandal. I don't think it's about that specific one, but something maybe like related to that world of, you know, just don't fucked up shit in the education. Gotcha. System. See, I was thinking this one with Hugh Jackman and it focused on not necessarily the celebrity aspect of it, but the guy who was actually doing the, the scamming and the falsifying of test results. And it's like, it, it it's like his story, how he started doing all this stuff. Yeah. Um, could be wrong. No, no. It's, so the, the dude who directed it, I believe it was about his high school. Um, who like they uh they had some sort of testing scandal or some sh- some bullshit. Mm. Um, and uh, and then he grew up and was able to direct some films and directed a film about exactly that. You know, so, smart guy. Yeah, yeah. And I think we said this at the time, but like it's like a come up on all the people who like slid you in the past. And it's like, yeah, motherfucker, I want to make you guys look dumb as shit. Yeah, you can portray them however you want in the movie, as long as you like just stay above the 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 line of being sued yeah <laughs> right like you can't say uh this person was stupid but you can portray them as kind of dumb uh hell yeah yeah in fact w- what fun <laughs> is it if you don't get to do that <laughs> why do it at all uh, girl let you hit you just don't include her in the film at all <laughs> <laughs> like she never existed, but you include her entire family, but everybody but her. Though. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right, let's move on to. Uh, there's literally nothing coming out on Hulu except for like old shit, uh, like old movies and stuff like that. That's uh, that, that's dropping. Um, but Yo, uh, wait, so like I recently got Hulu, right? So mm-hmm. for a long time, I was I just had Netflix, and then um, I got a new iPhone, which came with Apple TV Plus for a year, and then Disney Plus came out. I got that. Um, now I just recently got Hulu as well. Um, holy shit. What a difference. Uh, Netflix is clearly superior, uh, <laughs> both in terms of content as well as just their overall, uh, uh, platform, right. Aesthetically, uh, how you like their algorithm, how they recommend, uh, uh, shows or movies to you, how you scroll, how you interact with their their platform, uh, just in its entirety, it's it's superior superior to Hulu. But does it, it matter? It, it's like, was was that like does it matter like in terms of your ability to like interact with shit and like you know what it recommends yada yada like like I don't really give a shit about that. I just I go on there for what I want to go on there for and get out. No, see, like I do enjoy when. Netflix recommends a movie to me that I may like based off of like things that I've watched before. Right. Mm-hmm. And I like how it's organized and structured. Like here's my list of things that I want to watch here, are things that, uh, you know, that I want to continue watching here are things that I've watched already and I may want to rewatch and then new releases, recommendations, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then it goes down into like categories and like, Visually, it's all in front of you, and you just kind of have to scroll through and find what you want. Hulu's um, platform focuses more on like large feature, like you here's this feature and here's that feature, and you can go category by category, but it shows you like one feature at a time instead of multiple options. 
I don't like that. It's like, you know, if you have a, a huge catalog of like a thousand different shows and movies, why are you showing me one at a time? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, okay. Yeah, I don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> just, just uh, let me get in. Let me select exactly what the fuck I want to watch, and let me get the fuck out. Yeah, well, it's harder to do that on Hulu, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, from Hulu, uh, which has pretty much nothing new coming out, uh, we go to Amazon Prime, which also doesn't really have anything new coming out, but they do have uh, one of I think probably the scariest movies I think I've ever watched in my entire life, which is paranormal activity three. Uh, not the first paranormal activity is a little, you know, that's terrifying in and of itself. The second one was, uh, was a little terrifying. The third one was completely off the charts for me. It was, uh, you know, and it had the quintessential thing to make anybody terrified of anything. And that's, uh, uh, Little white girls, uh, you know, yeah. that, that's always going to make every story that much more terrifying. <laughs> Introduce little little white girls like swinging back and forth, watching you sleep. You know, uh, yeah, that that becomes immediately more terrifying than anything else. But uh, but yeah, that's all that's coming out on uh, Amazon Prime. I thought I'd give uh, that throwback a, a shout out. Um, now let's hop to uh, to Netflix. Um, so this particular uh, week on Netflix, we've got, uh, cooked with, uh, cannabis since uh, of course, you know, four twenties, uh, coming up. So, um, well-timed. Yeah. Very well-timed, very well-timed. They know what they're doing over there. They, they you know, they, they, they got a little bit of a marketing team. They <laughs> yeah, figure out how to coordinate all this shit. Um, then we have, uh, the midnight gospel, um, and we have middle, uh, middle itch and, uh, Schwartz, which, uh, I think it's Ben Schwartz. And then I think his name is Tom, uh, uh, middle itch, uh, and they are two actors. You might not be familiar with middle itch, but, uh, Schwartz is from, uh, do you remember watching parks and rec? I never watched parks and rec. Okay, never mind. I have no use for that. <laughs> uh, okay, but they're they're coming out with like, oh, and it's it was kind of cool about this is it's a um it's like a improv. Uh, it's just the two of them, and they just like they ask questions from the audience, and then they just improv whatever the scenarios the the audience lays out for them. So it's uh it's pretty cool. Um, not sure if it'll be my favorite, but you know it's a cool idea though. Um, all right, let's jump into uh oh some other Netflix stuff. Uh, we have Absurd Planet. Uh, and then we have a circus of books, um, and, uh, and then, uh, El uh, Silencio, uh, del, uh, Pantano, and then the, the plagues of Breslau, uh, and then, uh, the Willow Bees, uh, when the wilderness, the house of flowers, afterlife season two extraction with, uh, uh, Liam Hemsworth, right? Yeah. That's, it. That's his name, right? Liam Hemsworth. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, is it Liam? No, it's Chris Hemsworth. It's Thor. Chris. Okay. Yeah. It's his, his brother is the, uh, the less talented one, right? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. That was a yes. Poor, uh, he's poor the joke. not as cool one. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and then we have a uh, hello ninja, uh, season two. And then we have, uh, your sincerely Kanan Gill, uh, which is a stand up. uh, uh, comedy. Uh, and then we have, I think in a throwback, uh, great movie, uh, Django Unchained, uh, we have, uh, coming out on Netflix this, uh, this, this particular. Oh, okay. Definitely check that one out. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Let's, uh, let, let's flip the script here.